Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from Android.com. So I've been testing out the Huawei Y9 and the Y7 Pro for quite some time now and I've got quite familiar with these two devices and uh, since some of you guys have actually been asking for more tips on Huawei devices, I thought of making a tips video for you guys featuring these two devices. The good news is these two devices are running Android 8 Oreo and because of that it has some nice little additions in here and also these tips apply to the Huawei Nova 2i as well. So if you have a Nova 2i don't worry you can make use of these awesome uh, features as well. So anyway let's get right into the video and go ahead and check these two devices out and see what awesome software tips are available on these two devices. But if you are actually interested in more tips like this one definitely go ahead and check out my other video that I have done on the Huawei Nova 2i because that covers a lot more tips for the uh, devices that has 10 awesome tips and also I have made a camera video where I go in detail about the camera features and the functionalities uh, which again applies to these two devices as well so definitely go ahead and check those videos out in my channel and if you are new definitely go ahead and subscribe right now for more awesome tech videos like this as well as the full review of both of these devices as well as other devices coming in the future so with all of that out of the way Let's get started with today's video. The first feature that I have for you guys is called scrolling screenshot. Actually the name explains itself. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys already know how to take a screenshot on your device so on the Y9 here you just have to hold the volume down button as well as the power button to take a screenshot just like this so you can take a screenshot or else you can just uh, drag down the notification shade and from here you can just click on the screenshot option and you can take a screenshot so for a screen like this where you can't actually scroll this is fine but just imagine that you're in a web page where you can actually scroll if you want to take a screenshot of the whole page it's pretty easy with the Huawei software so you can just take a screenshot just like this and then press on this scroll screenshot option so the device will automatically scroll and capture the screenshot for you of the entire page so if you are actually taking a screenshot of a browser window like this it will scroll to the bottom of the page and take a full screenshot of the whole thing so once it is over it will stitch everything together and present you with something like this so here i have a scrolling screenshot of the whole google search result so here from here i can actually share this or edit this and uh, do whatever if if this part is a bit too much I can actually crop it if I just want this section I can just crop it out and then I can uh, erase anything if I want I can uh, draw draw something and then actually erase it um, I have other different um, uh, blurring options uh, here as well so uh, you can definitely go ahead and play with this and do whatever you want with this this is actually a pretty fun thing to do um, and finally you can save it and share it with whoever you want so scrolling screenshot definitely a must use feature on these new Huawei devices the second feature I have for you guys is called the navigation dock in order to enable this just pull down the notification shade and select the navigation dock option so once you enable it a small dot like this will appear so these are actually the functions of the navigation dot so you can uh, just touch the navigation dot right here to go back or you can release after touch and hold to go to the home screen you can hold and slide for the overview that's the multitasking and then you can actually drag the bubble around to change the position actually if you're used to this you can actually hide the navigation bar so that you won't have any uh, soft key navigations right here you can just use the entire device by using this 
so this is pretty fun you can actually play with it and this will, this will actually give you a guide on how to use it if you want just play around with it pretty fun if you actually get really better with this you can hide the nav bar and uh, yeah save some space for something else the third tip that i'm going to be sharing with you is the screen recording feature so in order to enable that just pull down the notification shade and you will find an option for screen recording right here just press on that and just allow this and from here you can start to record your screen you have to agree to this and then it will give you some information about uh, the screen recording process and uh, how you can actually make use of that and uh, just go through that and it will give you a quick timer and after that it will start recording the screen so now it is actually recording my screen and when I'm done with whatever I can just go ahead and press on stop so once I pop into the gallery I can find the screen recording just like this as a video and it will even have the audio if you have selected that option so yeah this is pretty cool if you want to record something and it's great that it's built into the device the fourth tip that I want to show you is a feature of Android 8 Oreo so if you just go ahead and press and hold on any of these icons you will find uh, 3d touchable actions for most of these applications for an example if you press and hold on Google Chrome you have the option to open a new tab or directly open a new incognito window without actually opening the app itself or for an example on YouTube if you press and hold you can directly jump into the search window so yeah that's pretty cool or else if you just press and hold on the Twitter icon you can just directly jump in to tweet something on Twitter or if not, if you're in a hurry, you can just press and hold on the camera icon and directly jump into the selfie mode to grab a quick selfie. Bam! The fifth tip that I have for you guys is the app lock feature. So this is available under security and privacy and then under app lock. So you need to actually go ahead and select this and I have already enabled this. So now it's recognizing my fingerprint as well. So once you do that, you can um, enable it for any application that you want. So let me show you guys how you can uh, enable this on your device. For this, you need to go into settings, security and privacy, select app lock. And from here, you need to just uh, drop in a password. So let me put four zeros, four zeros again. So for this you can select a secret question so I will drop a question who are you okay I'll just put Andrew dollar press finish and yeah once I enter the password one more time I am in this screen so um, since uh, the Y9 actually has a fingerprint scanner at the back I can make use of that as well instead of always uh, putting the password so for an example if I actually go ahead and uh, enable the app lock for Twitter Twitter will not open without the password so once I open Twitter it will ask for the password so you need to enter the password or else go ahead and hold the fingerprint and then Twitter, the Twitter app application will open up. So this is pretty cool. Definitely go ahead and use it on your device because it's built right into the device firmware. Well guys, those are the tips that I have for you guys today. Definitely go ahead and check out the Huawei Y9 and the Y7 Pro. It is available right now for you to purchase. I will have all the pricing and other information down below in the description. Definitely go ahead and tell a friend, share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel, subscribe right now and hit on that notification bell icon so that you will be updated each and every time I upload a new video here on YouTube. Follow me on social media, I am at AndroidDollar, all the links are given down below in the description and stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see featuring these two devices and other videos down below in the comment section. And until I talk to you guys in my next video, this is Banu signing out.